Just to feed your mind, so a lot of this technology that is coming out could be concerning, but the most alarming of it all is the Neuralink brain chip, of course. But then as you look at the new Apple VR headset and you look at the new AI technology, what we really got to do is take a step back and see all this technology coming together as one thing. That's when it will get pretty concerning at that point. Because right now it's kind of in its early stages, so there's not really much to worry about right now. Especially with the Apple VR set, that looks like a lot of fun. Because I'm sure they're going to continue to improve on it to where it'll just probably be like glasses you can throw on. Instead of these big ski goggles on your face eventually. But what they're doing is prepping the general public though. Because as people continue to get used to having these Vision Pros, this Apple technology on their face, new companies are going to come in and start making their devices. Then eventually everyone's going to be walking around with these glasses on their face. And this could happen quick. You know, this could happen within like five years. You could start to see more people use this, especially when it comes in the new versions where it's much lighter, like I said, and you can just throw them on like sunglasses. That would be a very useful technology at that point. I'm sure most people would love to have something like that, especially if the prices drop as well. But then, like I said, you're going to have to get used to everyone walking around recording everything because you don't know who's recording what at that point. Even with the phones right now, it's kind of like that. You've noticed how a lot of footage comes out now because everyone has a video camera in their pocket now. So when they move that to your face and everyone is recording from their sunglasses you really don't know who's recording and who's not at that point so it's gonna be like a surveillance system and life will be much different at that point point. and so even right now with our smartphones people are getting concerned by having their location on so think about this now when millions and millions of people start to wear these vr glasses as they become more affordable and easier to throw on your face like some sunglasses or something well at that point you're not only going to be wearing these glasses and most people will probably have their location on on these glasses but also it's potentially recording everyone even if you're not recording so even if you don't push the record button on these VR glasses, who knows if there's some type of third party developer or if there's some type of data collection going on in the background of everything that you're looking at and seeing at all times. You know, it's going to be pretty interesting to see what comes of this because having your location on would be nothing compared to that. This would become location collection and potentially video collection of everything you're seeing and hearing at all times and so we're gonna have to adjust to this new climate of technology and so everything's gonna be kind of different at that point then people are gonna get used to having all this technology and they'll be having these features and they'll get used to it and then when they want to finally implement the Neuralink into this technology where they want to make that to where it can become like the Vision Pro and maybe Apple makes their version and maybe all these other companies make their versions and you can decide what company you want to implant something into your brain. Now, it might get even more subtle if they make it so you don't have to actually put it inside your brain. If they make a version like how Black Mirror was showing us where you could possibly put it on your head or something by your temple or something and tap into your brain that way. But either way, this technology can get pretty disturbing. We're going to have to see what's coming from all this because it's advancing very quickly. And like I said, when they merge them all together with the AI and all that all in one, then it's going to get kind of different. So. We've seen that movies been showing us this type of stuff for a while, like Ready Player One and the Simpsons episodes. And there's been a lot of movies kind of that kind of show something to do with this new technology, this virtual reality world where people might just end up living in this virtual reality for most of their lives. And it'll be like the pod people. They just come out to 
maybe do basic things and then go back into their virtual worlds. So we're going to have to keep our eyes on this technology as it advances. And we see like already with the Apple logo, that's kind of like people are saying it's kind of like the forbidden fruit. So yeah, we'll have to keep an eye on this. They're already advancing very rapidly with this technology. So I'll keep you posted as more information becomes available. So make sure you like and subscribe and click that notification bell. I'll leave some links if you want to sign up to my free email newsletters, my other channels, my Feature Mind store, and much more. This has been Feature Mind signing off.